Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're back in Dragon Age Origins and we are just done with getting a little pinch of ashes for the Arl. So I suppose we can go ahead and see if they work and after that decide what we're going to do. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. Last time we left off, we just stopped at camp and now we need to talk to everyone we can and i also need to sell some stuff to this guy because i have a lot on my hands <laughs> all right here we go look before we go any further i want to say something i appreciate that you brought me to see my sister and that you well that you were there to talk me down after we left you're a true friend and I love you. I just wanted to tell you that. Oh, man. I still feel bad about that whole interaction. We're in this together, Alistair. <laughs> that we are. I have your back. You know that, right? Well, now that that's out of the way, I... something you need, my dear. Not really. But maybe you say something else. Of course. Well, never mind. I should have told him that I loved him. Because he only liked that response a little bit. Oh, well. Okay, so. Um. Zebrin. How's Here it going? I am. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. No, not really anything else, is there? What does it take to become an assassin? Well. The Crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training, the sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Yeah, that really is all it takes, huh? <laughs> it doesn't take any special skill? I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. That's fair. You always use poison, then? I do. It is not something inherent in an assassin's skills, however, merely something complementary. Of course, the Crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Um, dog, you need some pets? No, that's not what I meant to do, goddammit. There you go. Pet! <laughs> oh, cuddle bear. You're so cute. Oh, speaking of which, we had a gift we could give to Zevran. And Teven leather boots. There they are. Mmm, that smell. This is Anteven leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. You're welcome. What are you waiting for? Try them on! <laughs> yes. But I'm not finished admiring them yet. Can you smell that? <sighs> like rotting flesh. Just like back in Antiva City. Now if only you could find me a prostitute or two. A bowl of fish chowder and a corrupt politician. I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> and the feet as well. Marvelous! Amazing. Plus 15. That was a good one. Zevran shows an affinity for the finer things in life. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Alright, you know what? Let's go to the trader and see if we can get rid of any other gifts that were freebies. Just so I don't confuse them for anything that I pick up. So, let's take care of it. Oh, I don't... I don't have any more! God damn it! Okay, well... 
Like, at least we can sell him this. All right, I did what I could. Now, interestingly, and I know for a fact that I did not sell or delete anything, I don't seem to have any drake scales in my inventory. I don't know where they went. I wonder if it's some sort of a glitch that I'm not aware of. Anyway, Sten, let's go. You called. I am hardly surprised. <laughs> of course not. Do you find Ferelden very strange? To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Okay. Don't the Kunari ever want to change their lot in life? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. He might be happier. Happiness is fragile. Nothing can be built upon it that will last. Only duty endures. You don't think happiness is important? You can learn to find it in doing your duty, in serving your people. There is no need to search for it. Shall we move on? I mean, I suppose in a way. Is there anything you like about Ferelden? There is... interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things, like bread, but Cookies? sweet and crumbly. Yes, we have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. Indeed. Everyone deserves a pastry. I'll keep that in mind. Shall we move on? You sound a bit homesick. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Adel Bear, I think that's a slight towards you. You left out rotting garbage. True. I was trying to forget that part. Shall we move on? <laughs> yes. As you wish. <laughs> oh, he really liked that. That's interesting. Skill acquired. What did he give me? Moderate strength. Okay. That's fair. Now, he likes cookies. Let's see if we have any. We don't have cookies, sadly. Nor do we have any incense that I can see. Oh well. Now, Liliana, how are you doing? Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? No. I thought you looked like you wanted to talk, though. It's... it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. What about? I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. Yeah, that really sucks. Sometimes people surprise you. I knew she was ruthless. But I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving. Cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? Well, what if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. But you said the Maker wanted you to leave. I could have been wrong about the Maker. I... I know you doubt me sometimes. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Maybe I just tell myself he's there to console myself, to know there's someone watching out for me, to know I'm not alone. Wow. I bet talking to the Guardian did not help this situation. You're not alone, Liliana. But I was. I was alone and desperate when I fled to Ferelden. I went to the only place I knew would take me. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. Even now, I feel some regret at not ending her life in order to protect my own. What's important is that you didn't act on it. 
What we're doing. What we've done. Hunted men down. Killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me, and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. Marjolaine chose who she became. So can you. How can you be so sure? You left the Chantry to help others. That means something. Do you really think so? Hearing you say that gives me comfort. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Hmm. What skill did you get? Plus six bonus to cunning. That's quite nice, actually. So what is she at now? Wait. Cunning. 31. I see. I need to up her dexterity by another three points. All right. What's on your mind? Have you changed your mind about Alistair and me? I doubt it. I have watched you for a time, and perhaps I was wrong. There seems to be something special between the two of you. He seems less guarded when in your company, allows himself to relax, and he seems genuinely happy. Are you trying to apologize for what you said? I Again, I doubt it. I think I was too harsh in my judgment before, and I am sorry. Okay, I was wrong. You wanted the best for both of us. What you have may not last forever. Death and duty may part you, but love's worthiness is not diminished because of that. I should have seen this before. Instead, you learn to cherish every precious moment that you spend together, knowing that it may be the last. And for those of us watching, well, it brings warmth to these old bones to know that something so beautiful can be found in the midst of chaos and strife. Aw. Oh, Wynn. All right, we have Morrigan to talk to. What is this? Crafting materials for the Dalish, runes for the circle. What is that going to do? I want to see. Give all unassigned master runes, expert. Okay. All unassigned novice runes, sure. Okay. What do Dalish want from me? Deep mushrooms. Ooh, death roots, yes. I don't use those at all. Sweet. Generous as always, Warden. Okay. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. So, I get both of them? The sincerity of your cause has drawn them together under a common banner. Okay. It would not have happened otherwise. Okay. That's understandable, I suppose. Let's go talk to Morgan. Good luck to me. I never get those conversations right. I await your command. I'd like to ask you something. So... Full of questions, are you? <laughs> Never mind, indeed. Personal, then? I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Okay. Sorry. Nothing from you. Uh, your quest is still active, isn't it? Yeah, because we need to try and kill her. Oof. Okay. Well, I suppose we're done for now. Should we move on to the Arl? I think so. Indeed. Yes. Yes. I would like to find out whatever happened to my Drake scales. Because I did get a quest for them. Okay, let's see. So.
Redcliffe Castle, here we go. Oh, well, that didn't take long. <laughs> An abomination, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, these guys need to level up. That's right. Okay. Now you... Should we try to pin you down? If that even works. Yeah, let's try it, I suppose. Okay. Winnie. You are doing fine, except you need your armor. What? I think we're doing just fine. What the battle is finished. All right. Oh god, I forgot about that part. <laughs> All right, let's level them up. Let's go all the way into strength. I think that makes sense. Let's do that. And now we have win. You definitely need magic. Cleansing Aura. That's the one that I wanted to have for her. Okay, some money. Are we in a hurry? I think I should stop by the camp more often. Just to kind of unload some of the loot stuff. Reynold? Master Mage's journal. The last part outlines the failed pursuit of his misguided apprentice. Oof. Have you seen me? <laughs> you found Reynolds' body along with the abomination that killed him. Reynolds' journal tells the tale of his last days. Return to the collective for your reward. Codex. Let's see what happened to him. Reynolds' plea. Should you find this note, I beg you, please complete my task. I am Reynolds, master mage and mentor to the misguided fool, Ashir. Ashir. It seems that my young apprentice got mixed up in magic unmentionable, for which I pledged to pursue him to the ends of the world. If you are reading this, then my apprentice caught up to me and choked from me my last breath. I beg you to delve into this ancient elven forest and end the threat of the abomination my beloved apprentice has become. Should you do this, then I beg you, keep the feldspar ring you find on my apprentice's finger as a token of my thanks. And may you never know profound failure such as that I feel as I write this. Reynolds. Okay, so that abomination was actually his apprentice. That's interesting. I did not expect for that to be the case, but I'll take it. Okie dokie. So, let's go see if this actually helps the Arl. Hopefully it does. Alright. Hello. You return. Might you have news? I do, actually. What is Arl Eamon's condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Let's do it. Eamon. 
It actually worked. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... it was not a dream. You do remember Much has happened something. since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. I'm sorry. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I need your help against the Blight, that will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. That actually makes me wonder, what if he is also possessed by one of the abominations, or, well, demons, I guess. And it's not actually him who is making the decisions? Because, I mean, sowing dissent among the people you are trying to subdue would be the primary tactic, I would think, in trying to win a war. What are you proposing, then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance at fighting the Darkspawn. Loghain must capitulate, then. I doubt he will, but... I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those yeah. claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? Yeah, I, I knew where this was I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Well, this is how our love affair ends, I assume. Okay. That is unfortunate. I should have thought about that possibility before. My blessing? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. 
what's stopping Logan from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Interesting how a demon ended up being a benefit. What if we defeated him in battle? I know battle is the opposite of what he's trying to propose, but I, I'm really trying to go through questions because I want more information. Unless we convince some of Loghain's allies to abandon him, that's not likely to happen. Our army is not large enough. As a Grey Warden, you may gather allies to you, but we need those forces to face the Darkspawn, not to battle against our own. Yeah. Do you think this Landsmeet idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the Landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king? Who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. Interestingly, his own daughter is not exactly on his side either. It seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. Yeah. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He has cooperated willingly, though he has little choice. You damn him with faint praise, I see. Then there is nothing more to say. Jowan, I hereby sentence you to death. May the Maker show you the mercy we cannot. Thank you, my lord. And goodbye, my friend. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. I feel horrible. I truly do. Let's level. Wait, does it say I have zero to put in? Even though I leveled up? Mass paralysis it is, I suppose. <sighs> Poor Jowan. Can't even talk to him anymore. I just wanted to say that I restarted the game because I think I'm going to just do that every once in a while, but after I did and I che uh, and I checked my inventory, now I have Drake skills. Um, I don't know what kind of glitch that was, but I am happy that I have them, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. I'm sorry, Jowan. You know what? I should talk to you guys, probably. My husband lives thanks to you. I am grateful. Okay. You have restored Eamon. I am most grateful. It's up to him what I'm happens still next. still not yet ready to If call anyone can force an end to the civil war, he Pursue your treaties and return with new allies, if you are at all able to. Okay, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. Alright. So, ooh, nice. You guys are training. You'll be fighting Darkspawn. You'll be fighting for your lives. Good for you. I don't remember seeing them before. Yes. Okay, so. Um. Where do we want to go? Oh, yes. Yes, this one, this one. 
Although the route is more treacherous than Garland's Pass to the north, Soldier's Pass can shave more than two days travel of the journey to Orle. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we have here? It doesn't even say anything about it. I know this is a DLC quest, apparently, because it's yellow, but I did receive a recommendation to check it out before moving anywhere else. Just because apparently it's a really interesting one. I don't know if there's any other particular reason, but since I'm trying to decide where to go anyway, this one can be as good as any. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. As you desire. And it's kind of close. I should have probably stopped by at camp just to trigger some stuff. Oh my. Okay. You're awake. Did you. Did you feel it too? It was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Oh my god. What do we have? Oh my god, they're attacking the whole camp? Oh wow, well, good thing I gave some armor and weapon to Sten then. My traitors are gone. Is Morrigan coming? Yeah, she's here. Okay, thank god. Oh, alright. Doggy. I can't even control you anymore. That's fine. Can I maybe paralyze you? How close am I? Not very. That's okay. We can still paralyze him. Of course. That is not paralysis that I just clicked. Oh my god. As you there are so many! What in the hell is this? Are we all gonna die? I don't like that. Why are you not fighting? Oh my god. What is even happening? I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Holy cow. I'm not okay with this. should be built around the camp. How unnerving. I'd it say... It's more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? Huh. Some assassins. What in the hell was that? As you desire. Good lord. As you desire. I guess... Do you remember our discussion? Well, maybe I should not have said that I should have stopped at camp because it kind of forced me to. Yes, of course. I just wanted to tell you that I thought about what you told me, and you were right. Despite what Marjolaine says, I am not like her. I know that now. I've found peace in knowing the Maker, and nothing will change that. I've followed you to make the world a better place, and as long as I keep that in mind, I will not fall. Sometimes, it takes another to show us the truths we hide from ourselves. <laughs> wow, what responses. It was my pleasure. I'm glad I left Lothering in your company. You have proven a true friend and I thank the Maker for you. 
You're welcome. Well, this went well. What's on your mind? I was just thinking about being a Grey Warden. Hmm. Is something troubling you? I don't know. It's just difficult sometimes. You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. I don't give up easily. And that gives me hope. That's good. I've a question, if I may. What is it? Go ahead. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. Huh. Well, if we survive, I don't even know what to do with myself. Does this oath expire, then? Not precisely. I said I would serve you until you saw fit to release me. One simply assumes that once your Grey Warden business is finished, you would have no need of an assassin to follow you about. Am I wrong? Not at all. You could go if you wanted. Could I? And what if I didn't wish to leave? Then you can stay? Why wouldn't you go if you had a chance? How should I know? I cannot see the future. <laughs> what if I liked it here? What if we became fond of each other, hmm? Stranger things have happened. <laughs> Two elves, one camp. I could use a friend, perhaps. See, I have a tendency to grow on others. You'll see. It is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? Yes. Like, clear out all of these corpses that we just murdered. <laughs> Cuddle Bear, are you okay? <laughs> He's okay. Pet him. <laughs> what a cute dog. Alright, Morrigan, what do you say? I await your command. Nothing. Okay. Sounds good. I guess she probably won't say much until... until we kill or attempt to kill Flemeth. You called. Why is my nose so itchy? Okay. Let's go. As you wish. Alistair, what do you say? Something you need, my dear. <sighs> I'd like to discuss something private. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Where do you see this going between us? I don't know. Arl Eamon wants to make me king at the lands meet. I never ever wanted that, not in my wildest dreams. But I won't refuse it if it's in the best interest of the nation either. I love you. You know that, right? But I have no idea what being king will mean for us. I'll have to think about that. If we care about each other, that's all that matters? It is not true at all in this particular matter, but that's a good thought. Is it? What about duty? There it is. What about honor? Those things are important too, aren't they? I hope they don't come between us, but I... I can't say that they won't. I'm sorry. This isn't really the time for this conversation. Please, let's... Just talk about this another time. He really disapproved of that one. Oof. Okay. That sucks. Oh well. I'm sorry. I truly am. I guess let's go. And so we were I on the way somewhere, weren't we? Okay, I thought this event was scripted because of uh, where I decided to go, but apparently not. Okay. As you desire. All right, everyone is on fire. That's good. <laughs> I 
guess we talk to you. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Just what are you doing out here? Ah, oh, waiting for my helper to find the damn mule, of course. It's freezing! Oh! Oh, I suppose you meant, <laughs> why am I out here? As in this part of the country. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. I am Lyra. Pleased to meet you. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you'd consider helping a fellow out? What do you need? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artefact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? What does a control rod do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? You have a golem I mean, in mind? You look like the sort who could use one, yes? What's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah. I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. Oh, that that's lovely. not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Well, how do you know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. I don't blame <laughs> he him. He said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? He seems surprisingly honest for a merchant. You know what I mean? How much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. Okay, I'll take it off your hands. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just Thank hold you. up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. And if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Well, that was curious. The golem in Honley. All right. Uh, let's go get us a golem, I guess. But not before we get the self root. Warven runes flicker along this crystalline rod. You've been told that it controls a golem in the village of Honleith, near the Kokari Wilds. Ooh, maybe we can stop by the wilds. Again, I don't know if there's anything else to do there. But, we'll see. Alright, Honleith. Here we go. Oh, well, that's not good. Hello? Oh. <laughs> that went well. It did went go well, actually. Ended before Your I expected it to. Command. Okay. Uh, actually, I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? Oh, it probably did. 
I think we need to be extra careful. I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? Yes. Great. And there I was, enjoying my nap. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Yeah. Yes. Sadly. All right. Well, I hope they made it out okay. Who is hanging people? Not the dark spawn. Careful. Where are they headed? I'm not doing so stellar. Alright, oh, dog. You might need to do this, actually. And we will help out a little bit. Well as it is Okay. that <laughs> the noises that they make of course right you guys behind me lovely thank you for that and for this now doors are any of them open openable fruit oh it's outside oh my god <laughs> sorry about that it's a mild detour Olaf's chest thank you it doesn't open either uh, Liliana would you please? Key required. I don't think I have one, do I? No. All right, let's find Olaf. Basket of bird seed. Did you guys see that? I'm sensing more dark spawn. Oh yeah, me too. Can I actually do this? No, not now. That is a lot of you. Probably too many. Okay. Maybe I can do this just to try it out. See if it works out for me. When can you maybe come over? You are doing okay. Liliana, you are fine. Okay. Dog, you can probably attack him with this. And I will try to survive. Yes! Defend yourself! Okay, that did not work. That did not work at all because I got stunned. Okay, dog. You need to help us. And you... need to activate this. to come closer like here Good to go. 
Okay. Maybe attack him. Dog, why don't you help Liliana? Alistair, you do the same. What now? And I can do this. Okay. Oh, goody. There are so many of you. All right, Liliana, come over. You need to stay together with us. Dog, why don't you charge? Charge this one instead. Oh my god, why is there so many of you? I'm too old for this. Okay, we did it. Barely, and I did not even have Miasma on because I forgot to turn it on like I usually do. God damn it. That villager did not survive. Now that the battle is over, let's turn on Miasma. Yes, my friend. Longsword. Thank you for that. Shall we go? I see a door, and I am encouraged. Just an elf root. Are you Olaf? Dried blood clings to this heavy iron key. You found it in Hunleith, tucked into the pocket of a dead villager. Let's assume that your name is Olaf. As you desire. Okay. Of course. There is another chest. Large, clear lightning crystal. What are these crystals for, I wonder? There's a flower basket. The basket is almost empty. Most of the bird seed has been scattered about to attract the birds. Now I get it. Seems to have done something. Can I use it again? No, okay. Shale! It's interesting. He's like a landmark in this village. Um, I'm gonna go and check the chest and I will be right back next to Shale. Here we are. Now let's see if it works. As you desire. It did! Olaf's prized cheese knife. The inscription on the blade reads, For Olaf, finally, a blade that's up to the challenge of one of your fine, firm cheeses. <laughs> Dagger, red steel. Okay. I wonder, maybe I can use it eventually. Hello, good sir. The statue appears to be inert. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. There may be a way to reactivate it, though that is not necessarily wise. On closer inspection, you see that the statue is embedded with the numerous crystals, some of them cracked. It may be of dwarven make. Dulef Gar, activate the golem. Nothing happens. Apparently, either the rod is not working or the code word is incorrect. Continue. Okay. So, unsurprisingly, that did not work. Uh, let's go in here. Is there anything else? I did not expect the golem to have a name. And so I shall.
Willem Cellar. Strange crystal cluster. Okay, what is this? Oh no. Oh no! You don't have a head. And you are very dead. Um. Small, clear, natural crystal. I, I wonder if I maybe I can equip them on the golem or something since he was I'll covered in them. Come, let's have a move on. Okay. Hello. Oh God. Christ. Yeah! Oh, there's so many of you. All right. Win. I'm here. Dog. Let's charge that guy. Liliana, you're doing fine. Of course. Alright, what can we do? I can probably use the earthquake back there. Dog might not like it. You. Okay, who is hitting me? No one so far. Dog, why don't you come back? Done. Sounds good. Win, you need to help me. Your order? Oh god, you are very dead. Oof, oof, oof. We need to help Lilia. You need to also drink a potion. Oof. Okay, 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 we're fine. We're okay. Oh, Win, I'm sorry. That happened too quickly. Now Hello. you need to restore all of your stuff. How wonderful. Okay, okay, we survived another one. Now let's investigate. As you desire. Thank you for that. And so I shall. Um, all right. Oh, wow, we are under the tree. How awesome. Corpses, that's not great. Whew. Sorry about that. That was a sneeze. <laughs> Split meal. Okay. I guess... The corpses. As you desire. Oh. <laughs> That's it. I was hoping for something more than that. <laughs> I'll take that elf fruit though. Alright. Onwards and upwards. Well, downwards. Willem's special brew. This dark-colored ale gives off a thick, oaky smell. Swirling it in the tankard, you notice it take on an unexpected glow. Is it magic? Or it might be a gift, actually. 
Yeah. Okay, you guys... Wow, that is one hell of a weapon. Am I about to be ambushed again? Winery. What is this underground operation we got going here? Can we start coming? Okay. Start strong. you going? And Alistair, where are you going? <laughs> Come back here. Okay, Wynn, can you do another earthquake, perhaps, for these guys? A dog can probably howl, just so they chill out for a little bit. Yeah. Watch out! Have at it! Oof. Okay. No, 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 no. We do not do this. I need to paralyze you, I think. So you don't touch wind. Good, good, good. We're doing fine. You guys are just too eager. Win, you need to. Thank you. And maybe heal Liliana. Make a okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. And Wynn didn't die. Alright, let's look around. I guess. This is a wild quest that I'm on. Glowing crystal. Okay, that might be. Ooh. The appearance and smell of this liquid are entirely unnatural, to say nothing of its effect. Okay. Oh, wow! I did not even clock that. Oh my god. I'm glad some of you are alive. Um, let me finish looking around, though. Decades old letter. Of course. Madam, I can assure you that the Circle of Magi is not a sacrilegious institution, and that, indeed, we operate under the supervision of the Chantry. It would make our investigation of your husband's death much easier if you would simply cooperate with us. I am disappointed to hear that you sold the Golem's activation rod. I understand both it and your husband were of invaluable aid to King Marek during the war against Orle. Without the rod, we cannot discern whether Willem's golem was responsible for his murder. The golem will simply have to remain where it is unless the villagers can find a means to destroy it. Our condolences to, your, to you and your son for your loss. I imagine it is of a little consolation to you, but your husband is much admired here and will be missed. Make her keep you, First Enchanter Arlen. I see. So that's why he looks like a landmark, because he's been there for so long. Okay. Should I take the crystal first? Ooh, what is this? What kind of operation is this? 
Jesus Christ! Oh, that's a way out. Um, villagers, let's talk to you. What's going on? Love By me. the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. Um, I doubt anyone thought you were still alive. <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all, then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. A merchant told me about this place, actually. A merchant? Why would a merchant... Oh, I think I see. This is about shale, isn't it? I should have known. Why are you mad? Wait, what? You're not a simple villager, are you? That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! Okay, maybe it wasn't that long ago. Well, it did say decades, I guess. Killed your father? What do you mean? My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower. With so many broken bones, she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. So you're a mage. Were you trained, I wonder? I'm curious about this place, actually. Where are we? This was my father's laboratory, beneath his tower. Or it was, anyhow. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid, and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Yes. What killed this man who went after her? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it... Well, we never came down here. Ever. I want to know how to activate the golem. Priorities. How to activate it? We just used the control rod and the code phrase. Or did Mother give them the wrong one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She said she never wanted to see Shale activated again. If so, I'll gladly tell you the proper phrase. Just save my little girl. I'm begging you. I know, I know, I know. All right, I look for her. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Okay. I can do that. Um. Oh. For a second, I thought I wouldn't be able to go there. As you desire. Large, clear, natural crystal. Okay. Look at all this art that's around here. That's the Mage's Tower, isn't it? Okay, um, the girl needs saving. <laughs> oh, goody. Do we have more Darkspawn here, is the question. Or is it something else? I'm kind of impressed by these plants growing on the ground. Oh god. Well, all right. Oh goody. Oh, that's the man, isn't it? Now we go into battle. Oh, those are the defenses. Okay. <sighs> Nothing but love. I don't know how the girl made it. Alright, let's go! Push them back! Let's grab okay. some glory! That would be nice 
nice to have, wouldn't it? Dust wraith. Harvest festival ring. Cool. That's a good one. Strength, dexterity, attack. I'm going to put that on Liliana, I think. Oh, she already has two. Wait, one of them is useless. Okay. Who's got a ring slot? Perfect. All right, so somehow we are to believe that the girl made it past these wraiths. And the guy didn't. The Journal of Enchanter Wilhelm. The interrogation of the demon is going well and is rather fascinating, provided that what it is saying is true. I have sent all my research so far to First Enchanter Arden, and while he is concerned about my safety, he does not think there is a reason to stop just yet. All I hope is that the Templars do not discover what I am doing. How will we ever find another way to deal with demonic possession if the Chantry does not let us research it? Young Matthias nearly wandered down here again today, and this time I forgot to leave the barrier up. I believe I will key the defenses to ignore anyone of my blood. I would rather have the boy stumble into the laboratory than have him killed by my forgetfulness. Poor lad. All he wants is to know why his father spends so much time beneath the tower. I will spend more time with him soon, I swear it. Shale is acting strangely. I wonder if I should discontinue my experiments upon it. I am so near a breakthrough, I am certain. Ah, perhaps it is best if I focus on the demon. The demon almost managed to get away again. Tricky. I shall have to be more careful. Young Eamon sent a letter asking me to return to Redcliffe. I shall have to consider it soon. Could it be? What an intriguing discovery, especially considering that the demon was attempting to keep me from it at all costs. Or did it lead me to that information by seeming to deny it from me? I must discover the truth. I think it is time to dismiss this demon. It is too dangerous for me to continue holding it, and I cannot discount the possibility that it is having some influence over the golem. Or is it my experiments? I will try to deactivate Shale for the time being, and then deal with the demon once and for all. Let it end here. Ooh. So, who killed him then? Was it the demon or Shale after all? Yes? Iced fan. Okay, who else needs rings? Okay. Let's keep going. So we might see a demon in the end. Strange crystal cluster. What an awesome quest. Okay. Oh, I hope the girl is still alive. I can't imagine. Considering this situation. Oh, ooh, there's some stuff. Another barrier. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't cats like to be in trees? Is that the demon? Kitty? Oh. Hi. Oh, look. Someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Is it? We? Who is we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. You are a demon, aren't you? The cat finds me distracting? Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. Hmm, 
I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Oh my god. That's not really a cat, is it? Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough. Once you know how. Ooh, do you see that background demon noise? Right. What are you, really? I am a cat. Really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. That's fair. What have you done to her? I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... Welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. But are you really powerless? Let you have the girl? You mean possess her? That's such a crude way of putting it. Oh, I do yes. not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Yeah, kinda. I'll free you. And you can have the girl. Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Okay, how do we kill it then? Matthias's daughter Amalia is unharmed, but held captive by a demon that has taken the form of a cat. Demon is restrained by the mechanisms Willem placed in the room so long ago, and has asked for your help to free it. You have agreed to free the demon and allow it to possess Amalia. I did not, though! It was meant to lie. Well, that was meant to be a lie. Okay, so I need to connect these, I guess. Um, I like it when Kitty sings to me. This. I see. Wait, can it only go here? Huh? Oh, that's what it does. Father doesn't like cats. As you never desire. met Kitty. Okay. I think I get it. As you desire. <laughs> Interesting. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Oh, it's so awful. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually burning me. I did not expect that. Well, all right. As you desire. Okay. Kitty is my best friend. Of course she is. Now... Okay... That does not help me much. Lovely! I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> <laughs> I need one that goes this way. Oh, not quite like that. I don't think this is going to work the way I intended to work. That's the bummer. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? Well, right. I like daffodils. So the one that points up needs to be here. This one needs to be there. Well, these two need to be there, I guess. And now I'm stuck. Oh, God. Oh, 
Don't set yourself on fire. Not like that. I was thinking All about right. the sun, silly. Well, <laughs> it'll take me a little bit, so I will be back with you guys in a second. I think I got it. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. How can I kill Kitty? you? Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. I said I'd free you. I didn't say I'll let you live. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! There you go. Now... You understand. Oh, that's another one of you. That makes sense. Everyone approved. Nice. Kitty. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we can do this. I do have Miasma on, thank God. Now, doggy. Let's focus fire. Now we go into bed. Okay. Oh gosh, Liliana and Win. Win, why don't you do this? Since we are in such trouble. <laughs> Liliana, you are doing fine. You can come here. Dog can howl. Let's focus fire again. Wynn is in trouble. I wonder if I can maybe paralyze this guy. Good. Wynn, you need to help yourself. Doggy? Attack kitty. <laughs> Amazing. Maker. God. Can I? I can't heal when. <gasps> when you need to do this. As you say. All right. Kitty is dead. Come. Let's have a move on. Oh, kitty. Cord of Shattered Dreams. Willpower and Resistance. Ooh. Oh, wow. Situated on the edge of the Kalkari Wilds, the remote village in Honleith has long had to defend itself from marauders of all sorts. Plus two to all attributes. How amazing. Okay, I need to decide how that goes on. So, one moment, I will let you guys know once I'm finished. I think I'm gonna give this to Liliana. <laughs> it looks goofy. I think it belongs, or it should belong, on either me or Alistar, but um, not right now. And Wynne doesn't have any, and she can't even use this one. I don't think she would have been able to use the other one either. Would she? Yeah, 20 strength. Okay, um, we got this too. Restriction mage. What do I have here? Three willpower, ten mental resistance. I'll take it. Plus two magic. That's a good one. Okay. That's it. Now we need to find the girl again. That puzzle was fun. Hopefully she made it back all right. Oh my god, are you screaming again? Oh good lord. 
I did not even have the rest of you with me. There you go. Day, huh? Bad day? A little bit. Oh, I leveled up. Didn't I just level up? Huh, okay. That and magic, I think, is what I'm gonna do. Now for here, you know what? I think that's what I should be doing instead. That sounds good to me. Let's do lightning. And we can go. Get attacked by more shades. Girl. You must be an extremely lucky child if you manage to get past these. We are going to battle. That is correct. Okay, not too bad. Here we go. Hey, you are alive. Are you a demon now? You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Okay. The way he was talking, I found it suspicious, but I guess it's all fine. Right. Shale, let's talk. Hopefully you're not gonna take my head off. Doolan Han. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes? Yes. Just my luck. <laughs> I did not expect him to have autonomy. This is amazing. Uh, hello to you too? I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor Decades. dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? No. I take it that wouldn't concern you? Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Did you watch the attack? Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Why are you calling me it? 
entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. <laughs> it does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Is something wrong? I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. He has complete autonomy? I love it. Uh... What? Why? Oh, go on. It will be fun. All right, walk over there. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. But it did wake him up, right? So what now? You go on a killing rampage? Don't be ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil birds and their foul droppings. I could crush them all. Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about <laughs> it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? It. <laughs> I don't intend to do anything with you. Ah, how unexpected, yet refreshing. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. <laughs> Are you going to continue or keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. <laughs> you killed your former master. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! <laughs> I notice you don't call him it. Yes, I'm just funny that way. <laughs> what do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Well, probably enough for now. You're welcome to come with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. It is already large, yes. Think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Is that your real name or what you're made of? It would rather I was called Flint. Pebbles. How Pebbles? about rubble? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to continue real with our damnation. current party. Shale disapproves. Alistair disapproves. Oh, God. Okay. Fine. What can I say? I have a heart of stone. The golems of Orzammar once made up the vanguard of the dwarven army, holding back the tides of Darkspawn that flooded out of the deep roads. But the art of making them was lost, and many of them succumbed to wear and damage in battle. Shell has no memories either of the time spent fighting in the Deep Roads or of coming to Hanleith. Only a few spotty and bitter recollections of its last master. We unearthed Shale's control rod and awakened it, adding a bitter, malfunctioning golem to the menagerie of companions. I need to go to my camp and talk to it. Alistair, are you really upset with me? Ah, oh, you really are, huh? Okay. That is unfortunate. 
We might need to give him some gift. All right, let's go to camp. Can I go this way? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, I cannot go this way. All right, back we go. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Finally. Yes, you had me quite worried. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? You were She injured. told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. I'm sorry, what? But you're standing right here? Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. Okay. So you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, oh. I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Wow. How long will the spirit last? I do not know. I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. Wow. That is nuts. Have you heard much about the Grey Wardens of old? Only what I heard in the old tales. It was said that watching the Wardens ride in on their white griffins was enough to rouse a weary heart and put the dance back in the step of an old man. The Grey Wardens were powerful, feared and respected. But they also inspired the common people. I remember a tale that was told to me many years ago. Go on. The blight had ravaged the land for months, and the armies of the great kings had amassed for one last stand. As the sun burst through the clouds that boiled and churned in the dark sky above, it illuminated a vast, seething horde of darkspawn, with the archdemon at its head. And it was then, when courage seemed to fail, and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums and stood before the armies of men. And what happened then? The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth, ever between the men and the encroaching darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the archdemon was dead and the last darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt. And then demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice. The Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds finally rolled back and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the Great Kings knew that they had lost no men and none of their blood had been spilled. Hmm. I like happy endings. This is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought, and yet about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn, taking losses so we do not have to. People may have forgotten over the centuries, but
but nothing has changed. This knowledge has been blessing and burden to Grey Warden's past, and now it shall be your blessing and your burden. Okay. You know what's sad is that I don't even know how to welcome more Grey Wardens into our group because I'm so so new at this that there was just no details about the ritual that has been have been related to me. That's crazy. However, there is that quest to go to the old Grey Warden's stronghold, so maybe some answers may be over there. Okay, I need to talk to Shale. Hi, Shale. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's with the heavy sighs? Oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The oh. most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. Not to know you care, at least. It's true. One single tear, and then it's off to the north, I think. Or maybe west. I haven't decided. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Alistair, my dear, I need to apologize. Something you need, my dear. Let's go to sleep. Okay. Aha! I see talking isn't quite what you had in mind. Got it. <laughs> Granted, there weren't a lot of options. All right, well, we should probably outfit Shale with something. What does he even wear, if anything? Oh, wait, did I get more stuff that I could put on him? Well, you got something at least. That's good. Aha, you are the one who wears these. I see. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I like that. Ooh. I like this too. Look at that! Oh man, that looks awesome. <laughs> too bad he doesn't have more slots. Shale, what would you like as a gift? I have no idea. <laughs> what about Alistair? What would you like? Would you like this demon statue? I feel like he would be the guy to collect Legos, so maybe this is similar enough. And I'm saying that as a gal who likes to collect Legos, so... Is that for me? Oh, he did like it. Okay, really? good. Really? Wow! <laughs> I'm... Wow! Okay. Love. I guess it doesn't go to a door anymore, does it? Hmm. I also wanted to give him a shield, a different one. The one that we just picked up. Oh, that would be here, right? This guy. Yeah. I think that's a good one for him. Should I give this dagger to you or to me? This one. She doesn't really use daggers. And I need 24 dexterity for it, so four more. Okay, we'll think about that. Alright guys, I'm going to end this here. This one turned out to be a pretty long one, so I hope you guys enjoy going through the entire quest to get Shale with me. That was super entertaining. Um, and kind of creepy at times when we were going down into the, I guess, the lower parts of that tower dungeon, the laboratory. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, thank you, TempestuousCom, for suggesting it. It was a great one. And um, 
we'll see what we do next. I'm thinking Orzammar, but I might also stop by in Brazilian Forest to try to pick some, uh, some of the other leftover items up. We'll see. Or maybe we will go to the Grey Warden st Stronghold. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.